பிரிச்சிட்டம் மூலம் ஆடும்பரிவேல் அணி சேவல் என பாடும் பணியே பணியாயி அருள்வாய் தேடும் கயமா முகனை செருவில் சாடும் தனி ஆணை சகோதரனே திருச்சிற்றம் பூழியர்கோன் பூழித்த புகலியர்கோன் கடல் போற்றி ஆழுமிசை கல்மிதப்பில் அணைந்த பிரான் அடி போற்றி வாழி திரு நாவலூர் வன்தொண்டர் பதம் போற்றி ஊழிமலி திருவாத ஊரர் திருத்தாள் போற்றி திருச்சிற்றம் மூலம் தென்னாடுடைய சிவனே போற்றி என் நாட்டவர்க்கும் இடுவா போற்றி ஏகம் பத்துரையந்தாய் போற்றி பாகம் மண்ணூர் ஆனாய் போற்றி பராய்த்துறை மேவிய வரனே போற்றி சிராப்பள்ளி மேவிய சிவனே போற்றி அண்ணாமலை அம்மண்ணா போற்றி கண்ணாறு முதற் கடலே போற்றி காவாய் கழக திரளே போற்றி கைலை மலையானே போற்றி போற்றி வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோகரா திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் அண்டை சராசரங்களுக்கெல்லாம் அதிபதியாக விளங்கக்கூடிய முருகப்பெருமானுடைய ஒப்பற்ற பெருங்கருணையினாலே நம்முடைய ஞானத்திரள் சார்பாக தொடர்ந்து சனிக்கிழமை தோறும் நாம் சைவ சித்தாந்த சம்பந்தமான செய்திகளை எல்லாம் ஆங்கில தொடராக நம்முடைய ஒற்றுதலுக்குரிய திரு கத்தார் தம்பதியர் சரவணன் தம்பதியர் அவர்களுடைய ஒரு நல்லாதரவினாலே நிகழ்ந்து வருகின்ற இந்த நேரலை ஆங்கில தொடரிலே இன்று முதல் நாம் சிவமந்திராஸ் என்கிற தலைப்பில் செய்திகளை சிந்திப்பதற்கு திருவருள் கூட்டியிருக்கு மந்திரம் மீன்ஸ் one will be given whatever he thinks if he chants the mandram a particular mandram for which it has been formulated that goal will be fulfilled and he will be awarded with the thing he has wanted so mandram means it gives whatever you want but generally the meaning the mantram one who chants will be awarded with the thoughts will be awarded with the wishes is a general uh, outline of any mantram there are lot of mantras in this world for all these mantras the basic mantra is pranava om is the pranavam consisting of aharam uharam maharam vindu nadam these are the five things in the mantra so this is the basic mantra or this is the basic power by which the whole universe is being operated by lord shiva the power the immense power it has spread over all this universe and it is under the control of lord shiva which is the main cause of the functions of all these elements of this universe so this power the natural power the super power the inherent power the ever uh, never ending everlasting power is called pranava every moment it is new that is why it is called nava nava means new always propping up pra it gives a special the meaning as special so every time every second every moment it it pops up it spreads 
it goes forever there is no space in this world uncovered by the uh, omkaram so such is the power of omkaram and it is the power of lord shiva used by him to operate this entire universe this mantra takes different forms and the very important form of that mantra is the five letter mantra of that is uh, completely describing the powers of the or the project of the lord shiva so the mantra emanated or um, uh, projected or we can call it as uh, the pranava is the suchamam and uh, this uh, piloted mantra is the result or the effect of that cause the stula and suchama are known as effect and cause suchamam is the cause stula is the effect so cause and effect if you look at this mantra i uh, with the view of cause and effect then naturally pranava is the cause and the effect is the five letter mantra this five letter mantra is the very 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 important mantra of uh, our saivam so the saivats are blessed with uh, uh, three things one is the holy ash the second one is this five letter mantra and the third one is this rudraksha urtram so all these three are gifted or blessed by lord shiva to his disciples and devotees any saivat should wear holy ash generally he will be accepted as saiva he belongs to saivam only if he uses the three basic important symbols of our saivam one should wear the holy ash on his forehead and he has to wear rudraksham and he must utter he must always chant this five letter mantra if he starts something he must start it with this five letter mantra if he finishes something then he must finish it with this five letter mantra if he finds any obstacles in his routine work he must chant a five letter mantra some joy joy comes to him some happy things occur to him he must chant five letter mantra some sad things are coming towards him then definitely he must chant five letter mantra so the five letter mantra will become part part and parcel of his total life that we can see in periya puranam uh written by daiva chakra he would be mentioning throughout the book by all the adiyars this filet and mantra will be chanted on routine occasions special occasions in every moment we used to chant this filet and mantra this filet and mantra i have already told you is the effect of the sushama mantra om pranavam actually what does it pranava indicate what does it describe it describes that this world these worldly things are created and they are protected and one day or other they will be destroyed 
all the things in this world are destroyable nothing can last forever everything has its own period of survival after that period is over it has to uh, go to its sukshma state what we can say is destruction means uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean the loss of matter or the loss of thing nothing can be lost here only it takes different forms so the thula body takes the sukshma state that is called the uh, destruction what do you call production or creation creation means nothing new can be created as a matter of fact the important postulate sarkariya vadam in saiva siddhantam says nothing can be produced nor destroyed nothing can be produced nor destroyed in other words you cannot get anything which doesn't exist at all non existent things cannot be produced cannot be brought into this world if you are making something then you are changing the form that's all so for example uh, if you take a tree tree has come out of the seed is it not so all these things take the form of thula from sukshma so coming out from sukshma to thula state is called production or creation going back into the sukshma state from the thula state is called a destruction so destruction means a loss of matter does it doesn't mean nothing can be lost nothing can be destroyed as a matter of fact we change the state from thula to sukshma you understand so illathu thondradu ulladhu illathu varadhu allathu thondradu ulladhu marayad you cannot make it disappear you can change the state that's all magicians will do they will bring a dough from nowhere with a empty glass they will fill it with milk without pouring any milk at all all these jugglers magics will be shown but they will admit that these are all magics we are cheating on your sight and we are doing all these things you understand suppose he is able to bring milk up on tumbler from nowhere no cows need be maintained in this world isn't it now because we can make glasses and glasses of milk like this no it's not so you cannot make even a drop of water from nowhere even a dust even a drop of water droplet of water it has to be it has to be brought only from its uh, source so anything you are getting means there is a source for it so without source you cannot get anything likewise in this world generation or uh, we can call it production or uh, creation you can call this is meaning actually we are meaning that we are being we are changing the state from sukshma to thula it has to be useful for some time means it has to be retained it has to be sustained for certain period the sustainable period is called protection so the power the power is required for creation the power is required for sustaining the state the power is required for changing the state from thula to sukshma so such power is available as pranava in this world you understand these powers are known in two categories one is known as word of power another one is article of power tollulagam porululagam you understand so these two prabanja sol ulagam porul ulagam 
world of sound and world of material so world of sound and world of material oliyum oliyum these are the basic two energies which are converted into so many things so many things they are being converted so many energies chemical energy heat energy all these energies are made out of these two basic energies light and sound the sound is called nadam light is called bindu out of bindu we are getting materials out of sound we are getting the power of sound you understand okay now these two things along with the three activities creation sustaining sustaining the created things and destructing the created things all these three things are executed out of the power available from sound and light so the entire show the entire thing including these five basic parts known as pranava so pranava is the power to convert this world from seed to tree i have put it in a lum 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 sum method as a matter of fact what we can say is we are making the world from karyam to karanam to karyam from cause to effect if you want to change from cause to effect then their power is needed so that power is called the pranava that is available uh, addition that is under the control of lord shiva control of lord shiva okay now this pranava is common to this universe that has been converted into a mantra and om is converted into a mantra for saivats because saivats should know why this world has been given to us why this whole world should function at all why should i be a part of this world for certain period what is expected out of me during my life because whatever i earn i am leaving them in this world when i leave i am just uh, i just leave them back in this world i don't take anything but why should i earn it at all when something cannot be taken along with me why should i earn it at all why should i leave it behind me that is a question one should ask but nobody is asking that question everybody earns everybody uh, saves everybody purchases everybody buys everybody stores everybody is doing this thing thinking that either it will be used for ever by them or it will be used by the people who are close to him is it not some people are earning money because my uh, successes should uh, enjoy should be uh, happy should not suffer so my property should be taken by my heirs my successor likewise people are earning so uh, the the strategy the net the god has uh, soon is very very nice so everybody is active thinking that they are going to earn only for themselves and their uh, Uh, and their sons and uh, their own relations anyway but if you just if you are very keen some people are asking why well, that is why uh, saints uh, these holy people they they are asking this question why should i earn at all when i am going to leave all these things here why should i leave you are leaving it for your son why why should i leave it leave it for my son I have earned. Let him also earn. See, he is having a separate stomach. He is having a 
separate lungs he is having separate heart everything is separate so i have helped him till the time that he is able to survive by himself why should i think of him during his last days why should i think of that why should i think that my son should not starve till his last day my daughter should not suffer till her last day so i will some people go even far than that some people say my daughter in law my son in law my grandson my grandfather my grand daughter they should not suffer so i will keep the properties for uh, all these people so some people attitude some saints say why should i yearn for others i have come here to yearn for me yearn what material i am going to yearn something that i can carry along with me i will not carry these properties so i am not going to concentrate on them there should be some food available there should be available some food for my uh, hunger there should be some clothes to cover me there should be some space to share for my shelter that's all why should i at all you know all these things and leave the and uh, the most uh, uh, tormenting torturing uh, effect will be lasted few days whether the property will be proper uh, properly divided between by by my hands whether the uh, elder fellow will will be fair enough to share all the things in a fairness way he will think so he will be always thinking so he is uh, he will be thinking about his last son who is uh, not well to he is who is not doing nice so he may be poor so he would be thinking of him oh that fellow is very poor i would have left him more property all these things will be coming to him without making him think of god himself is it not that's what happening don't leave any property for your son or daughters let them earn them let them earn the properties for themselves and let them enjoy that's all educate the people educate your sons educate them with good ideas with noble thoughts educate them to spread love amongst the humanity and educate them the noble purpose of our life in this world always quarreling always envying always uh, wishing for lot of things that shouldn't be the attitude of the whole life will be made peaceless so it we must be feeling it peaceful so the create the, the purpose of the life should be will be understood only if you have the firm idea that the whole world is being made purposeful by the lordship see there is sun there is there is moon there is rain there is water there is land all these things are the five elements are there in common in common i used to hear that before uh, uh, british empire came here that uh, there is no customary for uh, sale of lands nobody will sell lands if they ship to one place to another place they will leave the land just like that and they will go away they will leave the property as it is and they will go away somebody will come and take the house somebody will be taking the land likewise when they go to some place there will be some land available some house will be available they will occupy and they will uh, do the uh, kisan work there they will do the agriculture wherever they go because it was the nature of that world 
because they must be having their own work he may be a partner so he would do the work there so shifting of from one place to another place in sarar even it is rare they will go they will not sell the land and nobody will be there to purchase it also all these transactions erupted only during that uh, voice period okay now this five lettered uh, mantra five lettered mantra uh, as we already seen that this five lettered mantra uh, is the effect of the pranava mantra something is effect of something something is effect of something in tamil we used to say karanam karyam karana karyam if you have karyam from karanam if you have the effect from the cause the effect will possess all the properties of the cause you must understand you understand if you take a seed of uh, some plant if the plant comes out if you you can be sure that plant will have all the properties of the seed which are inherited is it not likewise so the the pranava mantra has become the uh, panjachara piloted mantra shiva mantra if it has become means what you can understand you can understand what are all the properties of pranava or the properties of this panjachara it's natural isn't it it's quite natural it's quite natural whatever effects are there or whatever qualities are there in the seed you can expect it from here likewise the panchachara will have all these things in it shivaya nama nama shivaya shivaya shiva 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 sigara all these mantras all these mantras are called shiva mantras the shiva mantras is if you chant shiva mantra you are performing puja for shiva what do you mean by chanting the mantra chanting the mantra means is another form of performance of puja you are doing the prayer if you utter the mantra you are doing the prayer if you are uh, uttering the mantra you are doing the prayer in the form of mantra you are uttering it because it is the form of uh, lord shiva so the mantra is nothing but the form of lord shiva it is one of the forms there is a form the shramuti there is a forms uh, nadrajar likewise you know we have already discussed all these forms there. the deities likewise lord shiva has mantra form so if you utter the mantra you are doing a prayer you are doing performing a puja that uh, you must remember nam valivadi seyiru nartham if you are namah shivaya you are doing a prayer you are doing a puja so that mantra since it is the um, uh, effect or it is the effect of the omkaram it possesses power it possesses the power to give you the power in whatever form you want if you want the power to conquer your enemies if you want the power to complete one job successfully if you want the power to understand a book 
clearly if you want if you want to help your friend these powers are given by this mantra because this is the mantra of the pranava pranava is the sutshama namashivaya is the tula form i think i have made it clear you must not forget that they are different the mantram om don't think it is different from panjaksharam both pranavam and panjaksharam are one and the same that is why in saivam it has been stipulated it has been uh, indicated it has been preached it has been informed that whenever you chant 500 mantra panchakshara you need not add the pranava because panchakshara is nothing but pranava it's only pranava that is why this is the only mantra kindly understand the only effect of kas is pranava is panchakshara all other mantras in this world all other mantras in this world they have to be uttered along with the omkar om namo narayana that you have to add om namo na it's not will not do you have to add om because that power has to be added whereas namashivayam power inherited it is inside it is there itself that is why our beloved the great manika vasagar starts his tirvasagam namashivaya vaalga he must have said om namashivaya vaalga is it not no he didn't say like that namashivaya vaalga vikas namashivayam namashivaya the power the power namashivaya in the namashivaya mandiram along with its power it gives you the details of this the world and its uh, purpose your purpose of your life so it is a special mandra tula mandira panjakshara namashivaya this violetan mantra has been worshipped by our upper swami hal our triyana sambandhan our sundaramurthi swami hal sotu nai vedi gyan sodi vanavan sotu nai vedi gyan sodi vanavan potu nai thirundadi பொருந்த கை தொழ கற்றுனை பூட்டி ஓர் கடலில் பாய்ச்சினும் நற்றுணையாவது நமச்சி வாயவே நற்றுணையாவது நமச்சி வாயவே நமச்சிவாயம் நற்றுணையாவது நமச்சிவாயம் கேன் யூ எவர் ஃபைண்ட் such a protective mantra anywhere in this world like namashivaya it will protect you from all the evils katunai pooti or kadalil paichirum even if you are thrown into the sea dotting all over with the ropes and also with the stones if you are thrown into the sea deep sea you will come out you can come out by chanting this mantra katunai pooti or kadalil paichinum natunai avad namashivayave mattu patru ganakindrinin tirupadame manam bhavithen petalum pirandhen 
இனி பிறவாத தன்மை வந்தைதீனேன் கற்றவரு தொழுது எத்தும் கரையூறி சீர்கரையூறி பாண்டி கொடுமுடி நற்றவா உனை நான் மறைக்கினும் சொல்லுதுனா நம சிவாயவே நம சிவாயவே நம சிவாயவே காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர் மல்கி புதுவார்த்தமை நன்னெறிக்கு வைப்பது வேதம் நான்கினும் மெய்பொருளாவது நாதன் நாமம் நம சிவாயவே த ஹோல் திருமுறை டுவெல் திருமுறை தேவர் ஷிப் தே ஃபைலட் அட் மந்த்ரா அஞ்செடுத்து ஓதுதல் அஞ்செடுத்து அஞ்செடுத்து சச்ச பவர்ஃபுல் மந்திரா நம சிவாய் இட் இஸ் கால்டு த தூல மந்திரா So how how the the power is created, how the, uh, is created, uh, mantra uh, produced, as, uh, it has come out of Pranava. First of all, the sea comes out. Then comes out the Shiva. Then comes out Shivaya. Then comes out Shivaya Nama. Then comes out Nama Shiva. how it becomes how it evolves onkaram is like this it then it evolves as sea and it then again blossoms into shiva and then it is again becoming shivaya and then it comes out as shivaya nama and finally it is being available as nama shivaya you understand so the soul should catch this namashivaya to go to shikaram and this omkaram you understand so first of all the last out is namashivaya so that is our first to hold so we have to hold it first then treading in inside we have to hold that and then we have to catch shiva nama and then we have to catch shiva ya and then we have to go to shiva losing ourselves and we are becoming shikhar the entire power the omkaram will be with us will be with us you understand so this is being uh, indicated in saivam the very very great mantra if I, how can you say that saiva mantra shiva namashivaya is the uh, uh, is the unique is the unequable special mantra how can you say all the people will say their own mantra is special they will claim that their my mantra is special my mantra is supreme my mantra is superior to anything they will claim is indeed how can we say that you cannot claim everybody has right to claim them their mantra as they but you just watch them to chant the mantra if they if you just watch them they will chant the mantra with the om if your mantra is this why you are adding a om then they will say om is the basic mantra that we are adding it then you can come to the conclusion that mantra needs some support without support it cannot stand so that support is om so that is the power so some power is required to support it means it is powerless so the power is being given to that mantra from om by om through om 
So any mantra, if you just utter it with Om, what does it indicate? That mantra is being powered, is being fed power by this Omkaram. But whereas, this five letter mantra, Shivaya Nama, Nama Shivaya. You just, you must have uh, unbiased uh, such, unbiased uh, inquiry into this thing. If you just see, um, you, you can understand, suppose your guru comes, he is the preceptor, isn't it? If you are receiving it from the preceptor, preceptor will say how to chant the mantra. He will give the mantra, the preceptor will give the mantra. Why we call him as preceptor? Preceptor, it is the correct name to be given to the uh, guru there. Why? Because preceptor or perception, uh, preceptor means or precept means uh, doing something without uh, following certain rule. Preceptor means uh, without, uh, without uh, changing the rule, you must uh, chant. That is why Nama Shivaya, he will say how to utter that mantra, where the slang should be there, where should be along with it, where should be, how it should be pronounced, that will be given by the preceptor. So, the, whenever you receive the mantra, definitely in Saivam, they will not add Om. Why? Because it is self-sustaining powered mantra. That is why it is unique mantra. Not only that, I will give you another this thing. You can just see uh, suppose somebody says, what is your mantra? They will say one mantra. That's all. There are no evolution. There are no evolutions. Only one mantra. But in Saivam, why we have five types of mantra? As a matter of three mantras are very popular. Thirumular claims five types of mantra. That we are going to see soon. You can never see in this world any religion giving out Tula Mantra, Sucho Mantra, Adi Sucho Mantra, Karana Mantra. No, no, like that. You can't find like that. Only in Saivam, only in Saivam, you have Tula Mantra, you have Sucho Mantra, you have Adi Sucho Mantra. Why all these stages? If you say stages, something has become from one to another. If you are going through the stages, if you are going through the stage of Sariyai, Kriyai, Yoham, Jnanam, if you are going through these stages, then the man becomes Sivan Muttar. Unless otherwise somebody goes through the stages, nobody can become something else. If overnight, that is not at all possible. No magic is allowed in Saivam, only logic. Nothing can be obtained all of a sudden. You want Muthi? Come on here. I will give you Muthi. This can be done only by Yana Samandha. No, by nobody else. Can't do it. That too, he awarded Muthi only to those qualified. How qualified? You must, uh, you, you must ask the question yourself. People will say that Triyana Sambandar called everybody and uh, um, uh, he has taken them along with him to the Sivalogam. So many people were awarded with Moksha, with Sivalogam, with Mutti. Okay, I agree. But uh, there is a basic uh, rule he adopted. There is, a, there is a basic rule he adopted to award this Muthi. 
what is that he uh, followed he didn't ask whether you are uh, performing puja he didn't ask uh, whether you are uh, doing prayers he didn't ask uh, whether you apply holy uh, ash on your forehead every day he didn't ask he didn't ask uh, you go to temple shiva temple every day he didn't ask he didn't ask everybody will you do some service to shivanadiyars disciples of shiva do you think do you no he didn't ask any such question at all he asked only single question and if he answered affirmative if he answered affirmatively he was given the uh, mukti what was that question he asked them do you wish do you wish to go to shivalokam do you want to go to shivalokam is it your wish yes sir then you are qualified go ahead no sir i am just afraid i have some work here to be completed if i go to shivalokam who will get the ration materials for my family i have to go over that sir i have to renew my Uh, pass sir i have to renew my license all those things nonsense go and do all those things be here do you want to go do you wish to do that is it your desire yes yes it's my desire to go to shivalokam are there any limitations no sir no limitations if you allow me i will come along with you then go away go and assemble there i will take you all that is the only thing that question was asked nothing else so that was the qualification you must have the basic desire we have desire only for other things not for shiva we means we including me if we have wish for him if we desire the association with him then definitely it will be awarded the desire is very important than anything else whether you do it or not if you desire then that makes the best qualification so you just understand the mukti will not be awarded all of a sudden but there are stages all these stages are given different mantras the first stage namah shivaya second stage shivaya namah third stage shivaya shiva so why this transformation why these steps people with a different maturity will be there and suitable mantra should be accordingly should be awarded that rule is followed so it's very clear it's very clear you understand that from one stage to another stage it comes and finally it ends up with the sigaram so the entire power is distributed along these mantras those mantras alone convert or are actually taking the soul to one stage to another of course they are only aksharas the desire within us for the thirst of lord shiva's mercy it creates the power it gets the power from uh, this uh, pranava and we are taken through the stages we are taken through the stages namah shivayam i am uttering the power takes me to the next stage shivaya namaha i am chanting the power takes me to the next stage so power is available in every stage and it shows that it converges from namah shivaya to shikaram even shikaram is called panchachara shivaya panchachara shiva panchachara all other words are hidden within itself 
they are not exhibiting themselves but don't think that they are they have vanished they are not they have not vanished they are just hidden here that is why even a single word c it is panchakshara all the five letters or the other remaining four letters are hidden within shiva c shikaram so shivaya nama or namah shivaya these five letter mandras are inseparable from omkaram you have to externally affix for all other mantras but it is inherently available the power is inherently available in five letter mantra you understand okay now this five letter mantra pranava we just got some ideas shiva mantras shiva mantras are nothing but the power of pranava inherently available mantras shiva mantras shiva mantras inherently possessing inherently possessing the power of pranava so in namah shivaya shivaya nama shivaya shiva or shivaya shiva shikhar shiva shiva yengilar tivinayalar shiva shiva yendida tivinai maalum shiva shiva yendida tevarum avar shiva shiva yendida tevarum avar shiva shiva yendida shivagadi thane Tirumandiram says like this, Shiva, 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 powerful mandiram. So we are taken through stages by this mantra. As a matter of fact, it is an indication that you are being taken through stages. You are being taken through the stages. As a matter of fact, Uh, as a matter of fact the preceptor the preceptor dictates you which mantra is to be chanted and how to be chanted in a particular way you must chant the mantra that is the preceptor gives you the hint note these uh, five letter mantras the thula mantra the most thula mantra is the shri namah shivaya namah shivaya it is considered to be a very very powerful mantra thula mantra but this thula mantra is very essential but you must understand this namah shivaya mantra you must understand that we should not get stuck with this mantra itself we should not get stuck because using it we must go to other stage see i have to reach the other bank of a river i am in one bank i want to cross the river and reach the other bank then there is available one boat a beautiful boat with oars so i i am just getting into the boat my purpose is to cross the river and reach the other bank seeing the natural beauty seeing the comfort of the boat seeing so many things are in the 
both are available ok nice things but still you must understand that you have to reach the other stay other uh, bank of the river no point in getting stuck in the boat itself so likewise namachivaya is the boat available or given to you by your guru to reach from one stage to the next stage but it is very essential to cross the bridge that is why to start with this mandram is very very important that is why our gurus manivasaka peruman sundarar manika vasagar manivasaka peruman sundarar appar swami yana sambandha peruman all these saints they are uh, advising us to chant this mantra to get the next mantra so if you want to get a shivaya nama then you must chant nama shivaya how many times five times 50 times no chant it forever till you get shivaya nama till you get a shivaya nama once you get shivaya nama murmur it forever murmur it forever till you get till you get shivaya so you can very well understand that nama shivaya is the boat to cross the river to reach shivaya nama shivaya nama is another boat to cross the river and reach shivaya so without this boat you can't really cross the river at all it is turbulent so to overcome the dangers in the river you must cross the river of life using this punai teppam boat to cross the river so if you utter namashivaya if you utter namashivaya of course you will cross the first phase of the life but still you have to cross it over then another boat is waiting for you shivaya nama hop in a, hop over it do the hopping reach the boat start chanting uh, shivaya nama once you get accustomed to shivaya nama you will be rewarded awarded all the virtues then you will get the shivaya you will lose all the charm over the world you will never hesitate in leaving this world you will never regret anything that you lose here suppose you are losing something at this stage you will feel it over you will regret it you will suffer like anything but at the time of chanting the shivaya you will never feel the loss at all it don't be a loss at all it never be loss for you because your final aim goal achievement is very clearly understood by you i think i am clearing i am making clear my points so the five letter mantras since they are very powerful they are taking you as a matter of fact i am saying that is a boat to or you can consider it as a motor boat because it has its own power i am going to explain the mantra in the uh, forthcoming classes but still i am just 